Hey guys, it's a uh, arm throw roulette battle against Fizzy Stardust. Uh, he chose a Kazuki, and he chose and I chose this Ethernet cable. We actually both switch out because he thought I had HP fire, but I do not. And he sends out his perfect, and he goes as I go to my black star, and uh, he goes for a fake out, and I just go for hydro pump um, because I have life orb, and if it's if it hits, it's gonna kill. Unless he has like um, focus ash or anything like that, but luckily he doesn't, so it takes him out. So he goes into his Natalie. Hoping to bug buzz my guy, so I just go for the ice beam. I want to do as much damage as I can on this guy. Um, I'm ahead right now, so um, honestly, didn't think it would be that bulky, uh, and I didn't want to miss with hydro pump, so that's what I did. So I messed up, whatever. So I go to my why so cereal, and um, he's asking people about man bear pig. He asked about red ribbon. He intimidates him, and that's not very nice. And um, so I go for the sub on the switch, and. I just go for the extreme speed, and this one's a hustle wide led one, it's actually really epic, it's focus punch, and it's actually kind of mixed, it has a flamethrower, so he goes for stone edge, I went for the extreme speed to see how much damage I can, but so I just get the hell out of there, after this leftover recovery, and I just get the hell out of predicting a stone edge and a hot flash, but he goes for the T-Wave, and so I decide to go for the toxic on the switch, this is not my set, this is actually Ridley's set, it's the um, toxic um, protect, sub, and dive. It's actually pretty epic. So he, I talk to the Natalie as I just um, go for the uh, protect as he poisons up as I print see Encore. I didn't think he would do Encore again. And if it does, he just does another turn of poison. So we both switch at this point. He goes into his Kisu Kisu and I go back into my lead, my Kazuki, Kazuki, whatever. As I go into rocks, as I do a rock slide, because I carry rock slide on this one instead of HP fire, because it's mostly physical, but it's a bit gonna be like a three hit KO, which is really stupid. But it's actually kind of funny, because he has the same um, token kiss as I do, and I he thought that he would kill me with the extreme speed, but he doesn't. I live with 40 health, and I kill his sub, which is pretty epic. So his Kisu Kisu pretty much takes me out with extreme speed. I leave him in his death fodder. Uh, that crit obviously didn't matter on the sub. But, um, he kills my, my Kazuki, my poor Skeptile, makes me a sad panda. But I just go in my hot flashes, and I thought he would switch, so I went for the sub. As he went for the sub, predicting my Toxic. And he sets up for the Focus Punch, and I go for the dive, as I go underwater. So, um, and he just goes for another Focus Punch, just to take out my sub as I come up. I'm like... Please kill a sub, please kill a sub. God damn it, it didn't kill a sub. So he takes out my sub and I don't take his. Um, so, which is not very good because he's actually able to go for more focus punches. But he goes for the aerial ice, predicting my, predicting my, uh, my dive. But I actually went for the sub, predicting that he would extreme speed. Uh, and I go for the protect here, knowing that he would go for an attack move, because that's all he can do at this point. So I just get leftovers recovery. And he got, he went for the extreme speed, and it kind of it missed. I uh, would have broken my sub, definitely. But, eh, whatever. Um, shit happens in this game, and it's hacks, 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 hacks. So we break each other's subs, and, um... Yeah, my hot flash just goes for another protect. This is Kisu Kisu goes for a string speed, and I protect myself just to get more leftovers recovery. So at this point, I just go for the toxic as he goes for a string speed and it misses again. That sucks. Would have been at, at least one fourth of my health, um, which would have helped him a lot in the long run. But I could have recovered it pretty easily with um, with the protects and stuff like that. So he goes into his Ethernet cable. I guess again, it looks like an Ethernet cable. So I go to my Why So Serial, and so. He sent out spikes on the switch as I go for the sub on the switch as he goes to King Diddy D, but he doesn't have his hammer, so he is not birdie, so he, I guess he kind of lays like him, but whatever. Um, I go to the focus punch as he goes for the frustration just to break in my sub, and I thought this focus punch would, would kill. So his health goes down, 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 damn it. Uh, it stops, like, he gives, like, gives him a generous amount of health, so he goes back into his ethernet cable as I go for a sub, and he doesn't like this, so he double switches and goes into his Gyarados, and I'm like, yes, I have a sub up, so my, so the Intimidate doesn't affect me. So he goes, uh, I have flamethrower his Red Ribbon Army, but I get a crit, which kind of sucks, it matters, because now 
with the extreme speed, I'm actually able to two hit KO him with the extreme speeds. Um, so his red, as his red ribbon RB waterfalls me and breaks my sub, obviously. So at this point, he just goes for I just go for another extreme speed as he switches into his Natalie for death fodder. Um, that guy was kind of pointless at this at, at this point in the game. Um, he's not that fast, and the only thing he really got is bulky, but with the poison, it's not really good. So, on the switch, I went for Ultimoto just to go for uh, Death Fodder because I wanted my Why So Serial in the game anymore. I, want, I wanted him in the game. So, um, on the switch, or if he decided to stay him, I just went for the T Wave as he goes back into his Ethernet cable. And um, I look my guy, I actually have Hidden Power Fire, which is pretty epic. So I'm like, okay, Hidden Power Fire, Reggie Ice, it's gonna kill him, right? Yeah. No. He lives with health that's not even on the bar. It's like negative. But he goes to the Jarrah Ball and takes my Ultimoto out. Motherfucker. But I guess I've got a lot. I've gotten a couple hacks in this game. So I go to my coffee addict. He likes coffee. He likes caffeine. He likes soda. So he goes to King DVD. I'm like, he thinks he's got um got a nightshade. But no, I go for a heat wave. But his King DDD doesn't die. As he f just he hates his own master, Fizzy Stardust, and he frustrates kills my coffee addict. I love you, Fizzy. <laughs> so I go into my Why So Serial again as he switches into his Ethernet cable as I went for the stream speed, but I miss. Um, that's actually kind of funny. He was actually hoping for uh, hacks, but it was kind of too early to get the, for him to get the hacks. So I go for the flamethrower just to take his Ethernet cable out, and he goes into his Red Ribbon Army. Red Ribbon Army. It's from Dragon Ball Z if you didn't get that. As I go into my hot flash predicting a stone edge or a T-wave, as he predicts like the pro and goes for a dragon dance. So at this point, I have to get a toxin on this guy to stall this thing out. So he goes for the waterfall, and I'm like, I could take this. I could take this definitely. Because he's like epically defensive. So I live with some pretty good health as I talk to him. And he thought I would protect, but I'm too pro for that. I predict that he would predict that, so I went for a sub, and um, if I did go for the protect, he would be able to hit me because I can't use protect two times in a row. So I actually go for the protect here, and because he's loafing around, he has to either switch or pretty much die. So I go underwater as he switches into his Gyarados, his Red Ribbon RB, to take the um, dive, which is not much at all. Um, so, I just honestly wanted him to take more poison damage. Um, so, at this point, I knew he would try to, um, Dragon Dance. So, I went for the dive. And so, he can't really do anything at this point. He can just take more and more and more and more poison damage. So, I get a crit here on the dive, coming up on the dive. But it didn't matter that much because I would have protected myself and he would have died from the poison that turn, but it just mostly saves a turn in the, um, in the long run. So his last guy is his King DDD, and obviously I have the protect, but uh, I let him break my sub so I could just go for the dive, and that the, di the coming up on the dive is obviously going to take him out. So uh, that's a that was an epic, epic battle, Fizzy Stardust. Uh, I love playing you. Uh, roulette battles are so fun. I'm getting better and better at them. So um, thanks for watching, guys. That's it. Hey, guys. I'm Fro here. Um, I got a common question. In the movies lately, there's been, like, two big movies that came out. Um, you might think might not, might not think of them as big movies, but um, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World or The Expendables. If you had a choice to see one or the other, what would you choose? Honestly, I am an epic gamer nerd, so I would choose Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I saw both. I saw, and honestly, I thought Expendables was complete crap, and that honestly isn't my type of movie. Um, so... Tell me what you guys think. Uh, one or the other. Rate, comment, subscribe. Um, stay classy.